House Democrats are prepared to go to court to get the tax returns of President Trump. A spokeswoman for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the House Ways and Means Committee is working with the IRS to get the returns. She says, quote, every day the American people and Congress learn more about President Trump's improprieties from conflicts of interest to influence peddling, potential tax evasion and violations of the Constitution. We will take all necessary steps, including litigation if necessary, to obtain them. Republican Congressman Andy Biggs firing right back. They've been clamoring for his tax for returns uh, since the campaign, and now they're going to expand the scope to include his family members, uh, basically going all the way back to, um, I'm sure, uh, what his grades looked like in elementary school. That's, this is just uh, uh, harassment, naked harassment. That's what this is. Joining me now is Beverly Hallberg. She's the president of District Media Group, and Joel Rubin, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State under President Obama. Thanks to both of you for being here. Thank you. And Joel, so you're going to go first. I want to ask you, is that the right move? Should House Democrats go to court if President Trump does not comply and submit his tax returns? Oh, absolutely. And President Trump has already said he would release his tax returns, and he hasn't done it. And the question has to be asked, what is he hiding and why does he not want to do what other presidential candidates for the past four decades have done? And uh, right now, we're in the midst of two major controversies, especially since the Michael Cohen testimony. The first is, was he inflating the value of his properties? Is he a tax cheat? And then the second one is, what are his foreign entanglements? We don't know the answers to these. It's past time to have transparency. He asked for transparency in the past. I don't see why he doesn't do the same for himself. Uh, well, you know, the release of tax returns did not become commonplace for presidential candidates until Richard Nixon. And since Nixon, every candidate who won the presidential election released their tax returns up until President Trump. So is it harassment, as Representative Andy Biggs of, of, of Arizona is saying, or is it a legitimate request, Beverly? Well, I don't think we should use Michael Cohen as a legitimate source on whether or not Donald Trump should release his tax I records. Not, but I and posed the question. I gave you some factual information. That is how I posed my question. Well, I'm referring to what Joel was saying earlier. And when it comes to whether or not Trump is legally obligated to do so, he's not. Now, what I wish Democrats would do, because first of all, we do have the alleged Russian collusion. Now there's alleged tax fraud. I actually think they should attack Trump in the good old fashioned way, which is try to vote him out of office. So when it comes to the 2020 election, I think what would be better for Democrats is to put somebody up on the ticket who can actually beat him instead of saying that any public official, even as high as the president, has no right to privacy at all. Joel? Well, it's not a right to privacy question. He wants to be our commander in chief. He wants to sign bills about our personal taxes. And this tax uh, bill, this tax fraud recently, a lot of Americans are finding they're paying higher taxes than he promised. Uh, we are electing a person to be our public leader. They need to tell us who they are. We should not be wondering if a foreign government has leverage over them. We should not be wondering if they've cheated on taxes and cheated the American people out of legitimate revenue. And the fact that he's not answering the question, that he hasn't done what four decades of candidates have done, implies he's hiding something. Why doesn't he just clear the air? Why doesn't he just tell us what he has? What's to hide? Well, here is what you do if there is any tax fraud. It actually goes through the IRS. There is an IRS audit to determine whether or not somebody has unlawful activity. That is the process that I would like to see moving forward if there is anything that Donald Trump has done. We don't know that he's done anything. And we have to ask ourselves when it comes to public officials, do we then just say anyone who is an elected official, you have no rights to privacy at all. It is actually illegal for the IRS to actually put out anybody's personal tax information. But now we have a committee moving forward, um, not with any proof, but saying that they think that the president should have to put his personal information out there. And I think, once again, we should go back to the IRS as the one who determines that. I want to play some sound mm. in exchange between Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Michael Cohen Thursday. We don't have this sound. This is when she was suggesting, by the way, that uh, Mr. Trump committed insurance fraud. I'm sure you both saw that. Everybody was watching. And Beverly, do you have thoughts on when you saw that, that exchange at first? 
once again, whether it is this story of Russian collusion, I just want to know what the proof is. There is a process to determine whether or not the president has done anything. And one of the things I'm concerned about is, let's say we do get to the point where we see um, the tax records of the president. What if he hasn't done anything wrong, but then the narrative turns to he was a wealthy businessman, look how much money he's made. I actually think Democrats are going to turn this into a bashing on anyone who's wealthy in this country. We should still have rights in this country to privacy, even as president. President, and I think the Democrats want to use this to their own political advantage. Joel, how much do Americans care about what Speaker Pelosi refers to as President Trump's improprieties, and how much do those alleged transgressions affect the president's ability to run the country? Well, I, I think Americans care deeply about whether or not the people that they elect are representing them well, that they are honest, that they are transparent, and we aren't getting that. Uh, tax returns are the best way to understand an individual's fitness for office in terms of their personal interests the case, and their honesty. Now, uh, Beverly, wait, please. Let me finish. Public servants, it, it is legal, first and foremost, it for is this legal for Congress him not to. to. It is legal for this Congress to get his tax returns. It is legitimate for the American people to know what President Trump's dealings are and have been. It's clear that he has misrepresented and lied about his clear. engagement, his engagement with the Moscow Trump Tower project. We don't know. Why doesn't he clear the air? Why well, is if President you, if Trump? You, if wait, you wait, talk Beverly, about, let me just Beverly, let me let me jump no, in here. You're, you're literally interrupting each time I'm trying to communicate. Every instance where the president says something about what his personal business interests are. He could easily clear the air by doing what every other presidential candidate has done for the past four decades, and he refuses to do so. So why? The reason why is his own personal prerogative. If it really came down to whether or not voters cared about this, they knew when he was running for office that he had no plans on releasing his tax record, and they voted for him anyway. They knew this back in the campaign. So to say that this is about American voters, well, if it really is, they already said, we don't care, we want him as president. That's not accurate. The majority of voters actually were cast for Hillary Clinton. I'm not going to relitigate, there though. There is the there electoral are, college. There are, many, there are many reasons why people vote, but Americans if they had the full record on him like they did on Hillary Clinton, maybe they would have made a different choice. Joel Rubin, I have to leave it there. Beverly Hallberg, thank you too.